Kensington's meant a lot to me since I moved over to London in 2001. We rocked up to Lords one Sunday evening for, for the traditional Kensington uh, cricket nets and beating a couple of sort of raw Aussies. We didn't know too much about it. You go to cricket practice, you put a pair of shorts or some tracky dacks on and, and a t-shirt, you just turn up and you go and play. So, And of course we get there and everyone's in whites. Said, Shit, what have we got ourselves into here? Way back in, I think, 95 or 96. Guess who I met? Uh, it was Sunil, the master Sunil. Within two minutes of meeting this amazing human being with all this enthusiasm and passion, he said, You must come along and play for Kensington. I'll tell you why, because... Ralph and me are going to pick you up and we're, we're off to this um, West Country tour. We arrived at about nine in the morning and... Please. Nine o'clock in the morning, I saw Christopher Ledger with a... The pint in his hand going, hello, welcome to Kensington. We, we were quite shocked, but eventually we, we caught on and we were nice to the opposition. Since then, my love for cricket has grown every year that I've played cricket for Kensington. A lot of my lasting friendships in London are, um, are with uh, members of Kensington. Camaraderie. Just the fun that we have. Everybody is special, everyone is made to feel special. Group of people, the inclusivity. Humour of the game. Is, is the tea. The team spirit. The bizarre pace of cricket. Cake and uh, sandwiches. Fun we have. It's a great mix of characters. You, you'd struggle to find a, a better group of guys or a group of people. Where on the planet would you bump into a John Beaver? Nandi and Gabriel will come along and just bring you know, that fresh excitement and energy. You know, where would you bump into a Jamie? John Pickles coming in and bowling off his wrong foot. I always used to be a batsman. And then you've got a Tim and you've got a Matty and you've got a Rohan. And... Iraj just doing his little jogging on a spot before he actually can run up and deliver the ball. If we couldn't take the piss out of David Beehart, you know, frankly, I just want to show up to a game. Well then, you know, you make to walk in and then he doesn't actually, he doesn't actually bowl. Jefferson's on tour. Niraj. Hurry up and bowl. And of course, sand keeping us all going. And gosh, if we didn't have sand, how on earth would we function? Every time you go to a Kensington game, you, you're surrounded by 11 or 15 or, or 20 people who you enjoy their company. The thought of Chris just makes me smile. Countless numbers of lifts, countless happy times we spend in this car. But the thing I, I most like about Chris is the fact that it takes him about 30 seconds to say two words. We spent every weekend together with these guys and we've become really good mates. And you always have a good time. You always have a laugh. And it's really just a happy time and, and it's a happy club and it's a, it's a happy place. We all know we play some fantastic cricket grounds. We play um, beautiful places, good standard cricket. Uh, we play to win. We don't like getting beat. But not at all costs. But we do try and do it with a, you know, a real sense of humour. If someone from the opposition hits a good shot and, and, and all our players start clapping the guy, we're like, what in the hell is this? It's a very supportive club. No one shouts at you if you drop a catch. Much. I remember a game uh, where the opposition needed two runs to win and we needed five wickets and we took five for one to tie it. Cake and uh, sandwiches. One of those wickets was Sam Gore, John Bihar bowled him because Sam was playing for the opposition for the one short and to this day he still complains that he had his wrong glasses on. We <laughs> <laughs> were fielding and the opposition batsman set off for a quick single and <clears throat> about uh, 
30 seconds later, the batsman had run four, and it was various <laughs> scrambled uh, overthrows, and eventually Michael Bloomberg waded in from point, picked up the ball, held it up in the middle of the pitch, and just shouted, For fuck's sake, everybody, stop! <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the tied game at um, Rygate, Pilgrim. Come out and say it, Chris. Come on, get to the end of the conversation. That was incredibly exciting. I remember bowling a slow ball off the last ball. <laughs> How many times have we heard about the legendary ledger slow ball? Bowling a slow ball off the last ball. Each year it gets slower and more cunningly disguised. Bowling a slow ball. Chris Ledger's legendary slow ball. One required, the last wicket to go down. Getting done. When the helmet was brought out for Tabby when he was batting against this pretty pacey South African bowler on a pretty poor pitch. But it didn't fit, so then he handed it to the keeper with ultimate bravado. This big South African guy sends the ball down, what does Tabby do? Smashes it for six! Um, it was unbelievable. Kensington's a rock in a changing world. It's been my family. It's like a family, you know. Kensington is a family. <laughs> Kensington's like, is like family. It's, it's pretty easy to say that apart from my wife and my kids, Kensington's probably the best thing that's happened to me since I came out of London. Oh, it's there for you and it's, um, it's there for everybody. Like those, um, yeah, those extended relatives that you kind of have to see every Christmas but uh, don't really like. <laughs> no, scrap that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, I've got my Stephanos and Alexandros and Anna, but gosh, if you took Kensington away from me, um, that would be a serious loss for my, for my family. There are other clubs which play in very nice grounds and a good standard of cricket and uh, they're not Kensington and what makes us different is cake and uh, sandwiches. It's all about the people. You take away the people, you take away the club, that's all the club is. But without a doubt, there's only one thing that brings me back to Kensington, week in, week out. And that's my free beer at the end of the game. <laughs>